Look for Jenkins Boat Works on Facebook too. Like and subscribe. Well, I believe this may be just about the last episode for the Double Duck, double duck Kayak. We are very close to being complete. Um, most of the rest of this has just been hardware and finish work. Uh, some of it though has been still a bit of a learning curve, just not knowing exactly what to do. Um, pretty pleased with the way the hatch back here came out. Um, had to re-sand and, and re-varnish this, but we got the, the toggles in here. Pretty tight, but I want them tight because I don't want them coming undone. Maybe not that tight. We may loosen those up a little bit. But that's easily done because when I did this, I used um, I used bolts. These screws have locking nuts on the underside so that uh, so they won't come undone. And uh, so pretty pleased with the way this hatch came out. This um, gasket that we got was too thick, and I put it in here, and the cover would not set down on here flush with the deck. So. I ended up just taking the scissors and going through and cutting it, so it looks it's kind of looks kind of ratty, but I don't think anybody's going to care because most of the time the cover's going to be on there. And now at least it sits down right. So I do believe I'll go through and loosen those up. Put these uh, put these end pad eye pad eye yes. Um, I had put a block underneath here underneath the plywood in anticipation of this, so I was able to just drill this and, and run screws wood screws through here. Uh, with a little 5200 to uh, to seal that. We've got one on the front as well. And I suppose we might come forward for a second. Um, <clears throat> went with blue on the on the uh, strapping because we had some. Followed the, the the directions in the book as far as using the um, webbing to. Uh, and then we folded it over. It did say. You know, use a torch and heat up a nail or something to burn through these. I don't have a torch. I used a um, wood burner uh, iron, and that was great. In fact, it was a little too good. Um, kind of had to be be careful. Like you can see this one here. I got in just a little too deep and burned all the way through there, and it just took a second. And then it made a. a Part on the back. I suppose I could have sanded that off, but it was just as easy to just make another one. So anyway, that worked really well. These are um, these are also bolted through with nuts on the underside, and again locking nuts. And then this this um, hatch up here is just a commercial hatch you can buy. I thought it was easier to do it with this one than to to do the way the plan said. Um, and it, this is sealed down with 5200 and then half inch screws. So happy with that. I got that to line up with that pad eye on the front. Good with that. Now what we're doing is putting the putting the seats in. Now the seats are, are epoxied in. And I took some, we have these blue puzzle piece pads that we sometimes put down on the floor for the dogs to lie on. I took and cut one of these, just a little section out of it for both seats. Because of the, the V in the bottom, I didn't want the seat to, to V down like that. I wanted it to be a little more flat because I thought that'd be more comfortable. So uh, we accomplished that pretty good. And I got it underneath there far enough that you can't see it. Um, but then I just used thick and epoxy and, um, and glued the seats in here. Now I bought these seats from Chesapeake um, because... I figure that you can only have as much fun as your butt can stand. So I thought it was important to just go ahead and spend the money on getting the decent seats uh, rather than being out for a little while and being uncomfortable. We still have to put the foot braces in, and I haven't quite figured out how to do that, but tonight I'm working on putting in the, the back braces, uh, the back rests. So we'll have one back here and, and one, one here. Now these have got to go in a little bit differently. Um, on the back one, these two clamps are still here because I, I put an extra little piece of plywood underneath here and epoxied it in because I was afraid these screws that hold 
this bungee cord here. I was afraid that this screw would pop up through my nice finish on the top here and I would didn't want to cry real hard. So um, I put a couple extra little pieces in here. And the way the plans call for it is that these need to be mounted in here. These, these little dudes, they come with the kit that you get on these backrests. And these run through the, the bungee cord and then just screw up underneath here. But I questioned it, questioned it whether or not this combing was thick enough here. And I couldn't tell. And I finally, maybe I moved it. I had a C clamp. Is it still sitting over here? I couldn't figure out how thick this was exactly. So what I did is I, I don't see the C clamp, but I took just a regular C clamp and just put it on here lightly, you know, one end and the other, and screwed it down until it was close, pulled it out, and then used my measuring deal, I've used this thing again and again, um, to see how thick that was, the gap in the, in the C clamp. And it looked like it was about the 5 eighths thick, and these screws are 5 eighths to 3 quarters, and I just thought this, I just, I just can't chance that. So, I had a lot of little pieces of plywood left over, and I just took and epoxied them in there last night. Now I'm, now I'm positive that I can screw that in as tight as I want, and uh, I'm not going to breach the top of this. Um, now that's how this one mounts up. Well, and then it's got these straps here that come up underneath on the sides, and I did the same thing. I, I mounted, you probably can see it here, I mounted double pieces of plywood and epoxy those in on this side. Um, so those are going to get, they say to take this, fold it over, burn a hole through it, take your screws and screw that up in there. And then these are, these are adjustable so you can make that as tight up against you as you want. And then these on the back hold it so it's not flopping around. Up here is going to be a little bit of a different story because there's nothing behind here to hook these onto. So, so what you do is um, you take the strapping and they don't send you enough for that. I had to go to Hobby Lobby and get some. I got little buckles and then the it's the same strap as like what I got from uh, Chesapeake. I'm going to take and I'm going to run that on, on these. I put in more pieces of plywood, epoxy these in last night over here and over here. So I'm going to take and put in a, a cross piece of this strapping here that then I will be able to to hook this onto. We'll still run these straps up underneath here, but we'll have close to the same effect as what we'll have in the back. So that's the project for tonight. We'll do some more video after after we get it all screwed in. So anyway, but that's about it. Got to do the foot braces after that and she's complete. Okay, so we got the strapping put up in these underside mounting areas. And uh, I probably, it was probably overkill. Uh, I went with what, two screws up in here. I guess you can't see them both, but there's two uh, to hold this thing in here. I just. I don't think coming apart. These back here were a little tricky. Um, <laughs> the biggest trick was getting those threaded through the through the brackets right because once the brackets are screwed into place, you can't feed the bungee cord through there. It's too tight. So you have to have the bungee cord already in those little brackets before you put the screws in. And the first time I put the screws in, you, I, you had to uh, screw them in by hand with a short handle screwdriver because you can't use a drill attachment because there's not enough room between there and the bottom of the boat. So anyway, so the first time I screwed those in there, I, I had pre-drilled a little pilot hole, uh, but they were really tight, which is good. I wanted them tight. So then I was like, oh, dang it, now i got to pull this whole thing out to re-thread re those. And one, that one on the left, I guess I concentrated with the camera on that one because I had to do that one three times. But uh, you figure out how to do it, and then I just tied a knot down in the back of that. And then these has got these uh, adjustable deals on both sides of the, of the back so that this can move back and forth. Same thing here. Now this one has got 
a kind of a locking clip here that I just happen to have. Um, and then we're screwed up underneath here. So that, that's what actually holds the, the uh, cord on this one. And then uh, these, are, these are double screwed up under here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So shouldn't be going anywhere. And uh, loosened up those little toggles on the, the after hatch. And uh, I don't know, there she is. Put the foot braces in, we're done. We're going to take this thing out this weekend. I know it's a present, but i got to paddle this thing. I want to again thank my wife Carrie for her help, her ideas, her support, and her video uh, work. Thanks, honey.